Hello, welcome to a new video in like weeks or months or so that I've done this. It's a Street Uni X. It is a game that's not out yet. In fact, this is actually a pre alpha demo. So, this is very, very early stuff right now. So, the controls here are as you see, uh, it's actually also customizable and keyboard and such. It's actually a turn out game that is about unicycles. And right now we only have one level and about three skaters, which we're about to see right about now. Uh, Ile Brill, uh, hunting from a little town in the church, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to read this much. You can see his trick is really good. Uh, his worst seems to be his grind, or his fakey. It's his fakey, which we don't care about fakies, really. So that's not a bad uh, set of stats there, quite honestly. It's actually pretty good. Um, we have Mimo Seedler. Mimo is always trying to inject more style into unicycling. Has a knack for interesting new spots. You know, he's inspired by BMX and street scootering, so he's always constantly pushing those limits, even though his stats are kind of average. Uh, his trick is the worst, uh, but he's got good grind. You know, that, that's nice. And there's also Nolly Ergus, who is most comfortable sliding on a pedal of a crash, on crank, I mean. Uh, and I mean, he has really good grind, so, you know, he's good too. But out of all of them, even though he has the biggest beard in the street, uh, I feel more in line with the guy that's, like, normal stats, just because of the fact he got long hair, sort of. And I'm a guy with long hair as well, so I'm gonna play as Mimo. And the level itself is the water treatment plant, which has, uh, high pro and six score, valves, trick letters, which are our skate letters, and the secret tape. So, not much, but it's something nice, and it's from Nestle, apparently, so that's nice. Uh, so yeah, only one that, there's one level for all free scares, you'll see it soon. But, this is how the game looks. There is music to this game, by the way, it does have a soundtrack, but I don't know if it's copyright or not, so to keep safe, I'm turn it off. But yeah, the controls are kinda, uh, you know, unique. In that they don't use like traditional triangle and uh, you know up down for manual. It's actually triangle to manual, I believe, and the grind it's R1. It's weird, but um, so is how this controls because you don't usually like hold down to, like stay still. In fact, you stay still regardless. You only move when you press up or down. So you move backwards, you can move forwards. Either way. You have free roaming uh, movement, which is nice. Now, there is one problem. As I record this, I'm using OBS. I tried to bandy cam, and the same thing happened. You can see the game is stuttering. If you actually play through this, you don't get that stutter. It actually plays pretty much perfectly. Uh, the reason it's stuttering, I don't know why. Probably a recording thing, but as you can also see, I'm jumping, and all you can hear is me, like, going... Duh, 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 duh. The jump gets stuck, so I don't ever get to jump out of the ground sometimes. And that's because of the recording. If I'm not recording, it never happens. When I am recording, I believe it's a frame issue, so... Again, it's a pre-alpha, there's a lot of kinks to be fixed up here. But, um... For the most part, as you can tell, it's actually... Fairly solid so far, I mean, it looks and plays like a Tony Hawk game in a way. It's got that, you know, that low res going on, the stretchy textures and all. You know, it's got everything going for itself. And it's using unicycles, so it's even better. Now, of course, uh, if you're drawing for a free alpha thing here, this also means that even when we complete a goal, unfortunately, we don't actually complete the goal. Uh, because you only get this. And once you retry, everything resets. Except for one thing, but it resets on a second retry, so... Yeah, there is no way of actually completing all the goals, and then you know, completing half the goals, I mean, and then completing the other goals in the next part. They always reset. So, you know, this alpha isn't something you can actually really complete. It's more something that you're just supposed to, you know, go through and experience. There's the tape, by the way. That tape is the thing that glitches out, because when you get the tape, and you retry, it doesn't respawn. It literally does not even reappear until you retry again. It's weird. 
But as you can also see, this game is once again another skating game that is very in love with grinding. In fact, this alpha is a bit too in love with grinding because you don't even have to go that fast because there is no, you know, when your speed goes a bit slow, you can't grind anymore and all that and you bail. Uh, no, in fact, no matter, if you go as slow as possible, you can still grind normally. Sure, you're not going to get that much of a score going on, but you can keep jumping and tricking and grinding for a big combo going to build that up before you get a good score going. And it's just like, it's kind of abusable in that way. And, again, a lot of kinks need to be worked out, but for the most part, yeah, you can see, a lot of kinks, but as you can tell, it's still very solid, still very good for a fucking alpha build, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's something that you would want to play, right? It's something that you definitely want to try out. Well, you can, because you can actually, uh, go on itch.io and such, and find the alpha build, which is constantly being updated, by the way. This is actually the third version of the alpha. So, it's been given a few more fixes, a few more additions, this is what it's currently up right now, uh, but after some time, this will be another alpha version, another, another. The game will apparently tell you, and if you have an app installed on the itch.io thing, it will automatically install the update for you. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is literally what you're getting. This is, uh, right now what the game is. And there can be more. There can be more skaters in this alpha thing. There can be another level going on. There can be more additions of tricks and such, which I know there is. More bugs to be fixed up. Uh, there can be all sorts of stuff. There can be more goals, in fact. We can have like, a whole combo thing going on, maybe. See about the tape thing? But, uh, yeah. As you can see, very nice pre-alpha demo. Uh, it's just... Very solid, very nice. I enjoy it, and I'm definitely looking forward to what will come of this game because it's definitely unique. It does take from Tony Hawk, so it's an arcade sort of skater game, but it takes it in like a sort of like a BMX sort of thing, like a uh, Matt Hoffman sort of game. It also it mainly takes inspiration from Tony Hawk though, so it's very inspired by that game. And, uh, as you can see, I took out the valves, so there you go on that one. It looks nice. It looks very nice, though. Uh, yeah, this little poem of the whole recording thing fucking up things there. That is to be fixed. Uh, but yeah. Now, I know that my boy, uh, Talazanya actually did a video on this. And, uh, he wasn't that great at it. But, hey, he was showing off the game, and that's what mattered. You know, that's his thing. I mean, he wants to show off the game, give support to it, and I want to do that too. But you know me. You know me very fucking well at this point when it comes to Tony Hawk games. That I am not someone that just, you know, plays a game, shows off, and that's it. I 100% a bitch. And when it comes to a first level, of fucking course I'm going to try and beat in one session. So... That's what I'm doing right now. Considering none of these goals get saved and they always restart, it is of my best interest to try and complete every single thing here in the one run. So, because we only have two minutes, like a normal Tony Hawk game usually, uh, you know, I have to be kind of fast at this, even though I have the handicap of the jump being fucked. So, you know, that's a bad thing. But the good news is, I do manage. Because I've played enough of these fucking games that... You know, I'm not going to be shit at this, so... Obviously, the, uh... The jumping problem is going to mess you up on my, you know, my aiming and such, but... Also, that grind there... Uh, if you try to use that to get upwards, it doesn't work. Uh, it's a bit too low to really actually reach that area with it. So, the only way to really get up here is take this ramp, because I've tried... I've tried using that rail on the wall there to get up to the spot. It... It's too low. I hit the rail on the, uh, the whole rail in there by the wall, and I just get stuck there. Not stuck as in I actually get stuck in midair. I mean, I just get hit, I hit the fucking rail, and I fall. So I can't get up there from that rail on the wall. So that 
some adjustment in the level design is needed. Also, there is the thing that you can bail outside and it gives you a kind of funny little horn for when you do that. But yeah, the scores are not that bad. 75,000 to us at this point is baby shit. And it kind of is here and I do manage to get it in this run. I do manage to complete every goal for this skater in this run. Like so. Six score completed. So that's it, right? That's the game. It's just this level, free skaters, that's it. I can go into the credits right here, and we can go through all the shit. Uh, and as you can see, we got the guy that made this, Daffodil, who is actually a part of THPS GOAT. Yeah, the GOAT team. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, there could be some complications of, you know, THPS X. I know you motherfuckers really hate those other groups, but... Give it a try. Please give it some support, guys. Seriously. Uh, you know, as you can see, all the integral tools made by other people, like the PSX Retro Shader and such. Uh, Madeline there as a best friend for support. Animation by Erica Moya. There's a math consultant, a dev consultant, a few of them. Brunch support, comfy workspace, the Wallflower Diner. Uh, all the writers, you know, in the international urban unicycling community. And the local one like Grim Technologies and Van Uni. And of course, all the special thanks, you know, the THPS GOAT community, as you can tell, and uh, Vapor Realm, v VFS staff, Alt-G, ongoing Vancouver game dev community, folks I met on BOG, uh, the games, like Grind Session, uh, Thrasher, I have yet to do, uh, you know, Fuck 1 and 2 for TH uh, Pro 8, Skater XL, which I believe hasn't come out yet. Aggressive Inline, Amp 2, every fucking, you know, Im impressive game of the extreme variety. And all the Vancouver skateboarders, you know, there's some musicians here, which again, if I can use the music, if I let's play this game, Daffodil let me know, I would love to know that. Also, Neversoft is on there, Tony Hawk, Marty Marlin out there, and Arcane Kids is here. I don't know why I'm guessing Arcane Kids is there because they have done those rollerblading games, which one of them they haven't even completed yet, but we'll, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out about that one uh, in the comments, because I know he does watch these. Also, ex this whole little rebellion thing, make art sub ain't animals, love everyone, make a daffodil. You think I'm done, though? You think I'm done with this shit? No. No, because this game is one of those that wants to go and make me do all the skaters. Ah, I love them! I love these games! They were so fun in Pro Skater 1 to 3. I had so much fun 100%ing every level as every skater. You can hear my sarcasm. Look, I don't, I don't mind Daffodil. I don't mind if you want to do this. If you want to go and, like, use this part of the Pro Skater series where you have to do all the skaters uh, in every level. You know, it doesn't, like, save all your shit with just one skater for everyone. Like, in Pro Skater 4, you have to do it separately. I don't mind if you want to go that far in the past, but, um... Just saying. Just saying right now, not many people are gonna bother with that, okay? Not many people. And not many people are gonna bother with gaps. But that one I'm happy for because I'm a gap guy. I love gaps. So please, I would love to see gaps in this, in this game. Because I know that's one of those things that you promised. There will be gaps. So, you know, that means gap checklist parts will happen in Let's Play videos for this game. Because I will Let's Play this. I will go through the whole thing. So, keep that in mind. But, the game might not happen. It might, though, considering it is a, a passion project, but it might not also, because this is a Kickstarter game. This is a game that the alpha versions are happening uh, during a Kickstarter thing going on right now. It's gone on for about a week now, too. Um, it's only past 10%, though, and it needs a good amount of money. So, here's the thing. I don't expect you to I don't expect you guys to really go for this because you didn't do that with the Bubsy one, but 
With that one, I'm guessing you didn't care about the Bubsy thing, which upsets me, but I know you motherfuckers are here for the extreme sports games. I know you want me to play more of them. I know I've done about maybe close to half of all the extreme sports games in the world. If you want me to do another Tony Hawk-like game, if you want me to do another Let's Play of a Tony Hawk game, have a lot of fun with it and shit, Support this Kickstarter, because this game is actually worth it, alright? It's a fucking great game. It brings back onto the old arcade style of skateboarding games. It's not trying to be a simulator. It's not trying to be that fucking accurate in reality, like, realistic and shit. It's just trying to be a fun game. And, you know, I love that. I love that it's trying to at least be fun and arcadey and not trying to be 100% real. Like real graphics, real fucking, like, uh, simulation aspects of, like, tricks being accurate completely and, like, them being realistic physics and, like, all sorts of shit like that, you know? It's just... You can go goofy as fuck with the level designs here, like entire pro skater and such, where it had like skater heaven and shit, and it would be fun as fuck. And this clearly has, you know, that in mind, that it's going for fucking Tony Hawk games in its style and everything. So I'm very happy this is happening, and I hope the Kickstarter succeeds, and I hope that this game happens. But it cannot happen without your fucking support. And I need you to support this because I'm supporting it right now and I want you to support it. But here's the thing. Also. Nice. That's a nice sound for when you bail out of bounds. But here's the additional thing. Alright. You already know I mentioned Bubsy. You already know that didn't go so well. But that was for a DLC of a game, and I'm betting not a lot of you cared about that. Well, this is different. It's an actual game, and the circumstance of this one is different as well. Before, the Kickstarter will only give me something. Sure, it give you a lot of stuff as well if you went for the game, but for me, it was what I wanted. For this one... It's more about making you guys have something, because with the amount I'm giving to this game, if this Kickstarter su like actually succeeds, you will get to play as me in this game. Yes, I will actually be a skater, like a rider, on a unicycle in this game. But it won't actually be me, like the actual human me. It's going to be that fucking drawn OC fucking caracal that I have made on DVD on shit that I've done a few times now. And trust me, it's it's well worth it because my character, Zinni the Caracal, kind of resembles uh, Bubsy the Bobcat. He has a lot of similarities. And considering that when, it, when this idea popped into my head, I was just like, it has to happen. So, if the Kickstarter succeeds, you will essentially, in this game, get to play Bubsy. Even though it's not exactly good Bubsy, it is someone else similar to Bubsy. Also over 100,000. Nice. But it is someone similar to Bubsy. You can play as him on a unicycle. Let the fuck go in your head if you know Bubsy. And tell me that's not what you want. Tell me that's not what you want to see. Tell me you wouldn't play this fucking game and want to be that Bobcat on a fucking unicycle being goofy as shit. Alright? So if you make it happen, because I'm spending 500 bucks on this, on the Kickstarter for this to happen, if you make it happen... If you make the Kickstarter succeed, you will get to play as me in this game, as Zinni the Caracal. That's pretty fucking good, huh? Now, if it fails, which I hope not, uh, I'll keep in contact with the developer Daffodil. I'll see if I can get Zinni in still. If not, oh well. 
uh, and I'll see how the game development goes, if he will continue it or not, because it will be slower because, you know, you didn't support it. No, it failed, because it is an all-or-nothing fucking Kickstarter uh, thing. So, if they don't reach their threshold, if they don't reach that limit on their Kickstarter, they don't get shit. Uh, but yeah. This is essentially the game for now. There will be there will be new builds, though, so more will be added, like tricks and maybe maps and skaters and such. So, keep an eye on it. It has been updated a few times uh, this past week or two. So, it's it's kind of a pretty consistent update going on. It's nice. And, uh, yeah. Quite honestly, I want to see it succeed. So, you know, do your best to get the word out there. Support as best you can. Do some videos on it. Share it around. Give it some cash. You know, go for the rewards, maybe. Help make the Kickstarter succeed. Help make the game succeed. And if it does succeed... You will get to play as me, as any of the character, on a unicycle. You'll get to play a Bubsy on a unicycle. And who wouldn't want that? But yeah, that is going to do it for this video. I have now 100% this one level, this alpha demo of all skaters. Huzzah. So, videos, normal videos will continue on in August. Uh... But for now, thanks for watching this one-off little video. I'll be back in August. And uh, support the Kickstarter in the link below. I'll see you in August, guys.